at number three, we have James Wiseman, the center from Memphis. So, I mean, James Wiseman, thing you have to say first, is 7'1", 7'5", wingspan, ridiculous athleticism, ridiculous athlete, would be one of the top athletes in the league immediately. Right away projects as a rim-running, uh, above-the-rim finisher. Ton of shot-blocking potential with that length, obviously. He's actually shown a lot or a little bit of shooting touch and perimeter skills with the handle, decent handle for his size, and works, works really, really hard, really hard, really good work ethic. He's another project on a dra- in a draft that's full of projects, but he is the project with the highest ceiling, uh, with the highest realistic floor and a really, really high ceiling in the entire draft. Uh, his defensive awareness on pick and rolls is not there, needs to clean that up, but he could. he has the body to be one of the best defenders in the entire NBA. Poor three four free throw mechanics doesn't hit a lot of free throws, and the shot selection sometimes his perimeter game is okay. It's good for a center, but sometimes he falls in love with it and puts up some really ugly looking shots and some very questionable decision decision making. But that can all be ironed out. And when you have a body and just natural talent as good as him, I he's a lock for the top three. Yeah, all we could really talk about James Wiseman is his size. We haven't seen him play in like two years. Like we yeah, haven't seen fair. him play since yeah. high school. So based off his size alone, he's going to be a top three pick because you don't have someone moving this quick at 7-1. Yeah. And that's what just based off their sizes alone. I compared him to DeAndre Ayton. Yeah. Because yeah. they're both just so big and so dominant using their size that mm-hmm. I would like to see them develop a couple more three-point shots. I would like to see them develop a more of a post game. And if both of them do that, they both could be like a Joel Embiid type player, but they have a lot of skills that they need to develop to enter that Joel Embiid range. Yeah, yeah, I agree. DeAndre in Hassan Whiteside, maybe. But the, the realistic worst case scenario for him is a really good rim runner and a really good rim protector. Like if yeah. everything else doesn't happen, he's going to be one of the best uh, attackers on lobs and stuff in the entire league and he's going to block a lot of shots. But he has a perimeter game or he has shown flashes of, of a perimeter, perimeter game. And if that develops, he could be special. Who knows how good he could be if that actually does develop. Like you said, Joel and B type player. Thanks for watching. Listen to the Stretch the Floor podcast on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts and follow us on Instagram.